Have you got curls coming out your ears and you don't know what to do with them? In today's video I'm going to talk about how to attach curls to your needle felted sculptures. Hey, it's Pam again. Welcome back to another Thursday's needle felting video. Tips and tricks for the needle felters. So if you haven't seen it already, I've got a video on how to attach long hair to a needle felted sculpture and also how to make fleece curls. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to attach fleece curls to a video. Also an extra method of how to make curls if you haven't got any locks and you haven't got even time to wait for the 24 hours to make the curls that I show you in the video I'm going to show you how to cheat and use tops to actually felt in and make make fake curls as you go along so thank you for joining me if you like videos like this give me a thumbs up so the first method for making fleece curls, if you don't have any actual curls and you just want to do something quickly, you can actually use roving or tops, whatever it's called in your area, but you want the fibres, you want the fleece that has the fibres all in the one direction, just ready for spinning, usually. And we're just going to break off a thin piece of that. You pull out from the middle and then pull away a nice thin piece. And I'm just, you would normally felt it onto a, a base of the same colour because we're going to be able to see through here. But I'm just doing this so you can actually see the difference. And then we're just going to felt it on into a curly shape. So I felt on one area and then I let it make a loop and I felt the next bit on. And again, a loop. So this way you've felted up and made a kind of textured surface just with regular straight fibres. Now if you actually have curls, the method is, one method is kind of similar. You're just going to, as it touches the body, I'm just felting in one of the bits of the curls that's pointing down the way, leaving loops up and just felting in downwards the bits, the bits of the loops that are closest to the body and we're just going to zigzag the fibre back and forth into the body, not felting down every single piece, just the bits that are actually to be touching the body. And you have a nice textured coat. You can also add curls just like you would with long hair. So for instance, if you wanted a nice shaggy end to a tail, put the curl down Cut it twice the length you want, put the middle section down and felt that, just felt the middle on and the same with the second piece, just felt the middle on. And just to help the direction you've maybe felt a couple of wee curls up as well, just so that it holds in the direction you want. Then you have nice springs coming out and you do that all the way around the tail to make a nice springy tail. And to make a shaggy beard, just the same as you would with the long hair, I'm just going to lay pieces of the fleece 
over the area I'm wanting. These are different colors, but it doesn't matter. Lay the pieces over his nose. Felt the middle on, remembering to leave some loops up if you want that. So it still gives the appearance of curls. And I'm just going to bring some round to the front as well. trimming to the length you want. And when you add a wee nose to that, it does make it look a little less mad. And to do the rest of the face, it's really similar to the long hair. We're just going to take pieces down from below the eye to cover his cheeks and leave a little loose as if it's growing. You can just cover his ears the way you did his body by felting in little bits of the loops. And don't try and make a neat pattern because curly hair isn't neat. So I just let it kind of, as you can see, I'm just felting it in where it falls. I'm not worrying about making nice lines or anything. Draping some fibres over the back of his head. So two or three little springs to make his eyebrows. That's just felting in one edge just off to the centre of his eye and letting the eyebrows kind of curve round and leaving the edges loose. And you can slightly groom it by just gently catching edges and felting them in so it holds in shape. pieces come up from the bridge of his nose as well. And I think just a little mouth, which is just I'm taking a pinch of black and I'm rolling it backwards and forwards between my fingers to make a straight line. And then we're going to just pop that onto it under his nose and felt it. I'm smoothing out the fibres around his eyes. If the camera. 
camera is in the mood for focusing, thank you. Smoothing out the fibres around his eyes. This is going to look a bit patchy, like I say I would usually do this on a brown dog. If we're using brown. But... Already kind of cute. If you wanted more, let's say we were going to make him a poodle, you can just take a load of fibre. right on top to make his hair more bouffant. And I'm just gently felting into it and moving the hair to where I think it needs to be. So with the needle I'll just be pushing it left or right and then felting a bit in position. The more you felt the flatter it's going to get. So just felt to the level that you're happy with how it looks. That's bonkers and quite cute. Thank you for joining me. I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you struggle with or would be interested in seeing in needle felting. And I'll see you next Thursday. Thank you.